pounds of welterweight action. The undefeated Vargas in the red corner. Across from him in the blue corner, Morales. Here we go, round at number one. This Vargas moving around. Trying to see what he got in front of him. Setting with a good jab. Using his distance. All right, they have him through. Now he's doing he's coming in. Kind of reaching in a little bit too much. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that right hand by Vargas when he comes in. Vargas does a good job of getting out of reach distance. See, I don't like the way Morales is throwing that, that right hand. He's throwing it like right. Throwing it like he's throwing a baseball. Yeah. Yeah, not, not, not like a straight punch or, or a hook. Yeah, you know, not even the jab, we're just marking. A very odd style for Morales today. Sometimes different. If Vargas work with that double jab and change it with a hook, he could do something there. Morales throws that hey, not, hey, not very traditional overhead right, and Vargas throws it with the shoulder and then answers with a beautiful straight right. Yeah, he could come back. Oh, there you go with the right hand. Oh, and that right hand. Catches Vargas, but Vargas still in this. He catches, returns with the left of his own. Yeah, you gotta be careful all the way Morales coming in. He didn't get a head, head gear. I mean, a head but Don't get cut. Vargas is still keep on working with the double jab, come with the right hand. All change it to a right hand and come with a hook. A little bit of a sense of urgency from the side of Vargas right now. Just over a minute left in action in round number one. We are live on Flight TV pay-per-view, commencing from the downtown Tampa Convention Center as Vargas lands a beautiful two-punch combination. And Morales returns. Oh, a beautiful right hand. He's waiting. He know he heard it. Oh, a good double shot combination to the bread basket of Morales, and now we're going to break of action. It's getting warm, it's getting hot. I'm just coming in with good combinations. Put that double jab, Vargas. See, he throws that ugly right hand. Catches Vargas, final moments of round number one. You see? Every time he throws that right hand, he's just showing that he can come to a ball. A fastball. Yeah, it's, that's, that's not a professional boxing overhead right you normally see. But we did see him catch Vargas once or twice with it. Morales on paper didn't look like it was going to be as competitive as what we're seeing. Seeing a little bit more of a competitive first round here. Vargas knows he has a challenge in front of him. He has to work for this one. Yeah, he got a fighter that he don't got no too much style, style but he's a, point, he's a fighter that comes straight to you and do your fight. Vargas last scored a victory in June. Title night Miami. Title night three. And now here in Tampa, Florida, looking to add a victory to his 5 0 undefeated record. Round number two begins here. Christopher Young, referee, begins the action. All fight is already passing the first round. They're all getting second round fights. Rounds. Morales with some confidence coming into this round. He, he knows that he was a little bit competitive in that second. Oh, and that does drop Vargas. Oh. And Vargas reacts. I don't think Vargas likes what just happened. Oh, you got to count. He got it. He got it. He got it. With that crazy punch that we were talking about, he got it. He got it with the crazy punch. You're absolutely right, Ivan Calderon. That unorthodox punch caught Vargas off guard, and now in the corner is Vargas. See? 
Vargas looking to make it a grind out, grinding it out here with him trying to sort of impose his will onto his opponent, make it a little bit scrappier. Yeah, remember, Morales just grew up with that, with that knockdown. Oh, good combination by Vargas. Vargas gets out of the way once again here. Starting to get his wits back here is G Vargas. I always say that you always gotta be careful with the boxes that don't got no, no style. You always can get lose with them kind of fighters. Because it's a lot like poker. The professionals will lose to the amateurs a lot more yeah. than they'll lose to the professionals yeah. because they do things that are just unexpected, as what we're seeing here from Morales, a very unexpected style. And he's running always to his left hand. And Morales keep on running to his left, and Vargas doing the same thing, keep on running to his left. It's like, like, a, like a clock. Oh, he's, he don't, he don't want, I don't know if he's hurt, or he fell the, the knockdown, or he had his throw. Oh, he got oh, it. Oh, he got wow. it. Wow, Vargas with a beautiful left hook, and now on his back foot is Morales, in the changing of the guard as we see the tables turn here, round number two of action. And we still have just under a bit of action here on Mark Charles alongside with me, Ivan Calderon, title like four in Tampa, Florida. And this fight has just picked up. Yeah, he, he, he got to have a, a knockdown hit to try to tie this round because right now he's losing the round like a knockdown. Oh, a big overhand right by Vargas just barely misses. Morales, if it's an intelligent boxer, he just move around, just let the round finish, but he can take this round 10-8. Well, you know he don't got the power to drop by this. Knock him out. Try, just try to beat him right by points. He already got that 10 8 to his finger. Okay, every competitive round, and that one has to go into the favor of Morales with a good knockdown, a very good knockdown. It's a 10 8. Right now, he got one round in his favor. It's a 3 2 right now. Let's see it right here. See what he did. Here he comes. He's marching. Boom. Boom. He got it. Bobby, I got it with a good combination. I thought we were going to see the replay. Round number three here as we head back into this welterweight bout. Gene Vargas in the red, Ruben Morales looking for his first victory as a pro in the blue corner. Here we go. Hey, oh, now they're throwing, now they won this fight. They're coming straight. This is no target. combination, no We're combination. Into a battle here, they are in war. Ruben Morales can... Ooh, good right hand by Vargas to Morales. But Morales is still there. Morales coming in with an 0-1 record. A win over Vargas would absolutely set him back on track into the professional sphere of boxing. But Vargas, a very savvy boxer, so he's going to keep his feet moving. He's going to keep it very hard for Morales to find him. You see how the difference, different style keep up, just, just change the, the, the fight we thought with a negative record. 0 and 1 with a 5 and 0. We thought it was going to be an easy fight for Vargas. Look at right now what we see right here. No easy fights in pro boxing, especially at Signature Punch Promotion, trying to put on the best fights. Nelson Lopez Jr., matchmaker, matching up these fights here. Fantastic job, as you can see the product here unfolding here. Round number three of this welterweight route here. Ooh, amazing live. Oh my. Beautiful uppercut there by Morales. Yeah, he got it with a good buddy, buddy shot. There you go. Vargas keeping on his feet, on his toes, keeping the fight moving. You see Vargas, he's just moving around. He hasn't thrown nothing, no combination. He just keep on moving. Morales just keep on throwing. Even if they don't hit, judges are seeing Morales putting the fight. 
And that could do a lot in, in the positions. Vargas looking like he's fully recovered from the knockdown at this point. Right now, he got to do something about that because if he, he just go to the decision, you never know I could see a, a draw or a lose by Vargas. Actually, that's going to go in favor of really both men. Both. Vargas getting a chance here to recover from the knockdown, and Morales getting a chance to, to fill the gas tank back up. Yeah, it all depends how how they get that time and do a good job with that with that time. There you go. Let's see if that that seconds put a little bit of action in, put that little bit of air in the game, each other. All right, you just keep on coming, keep on moving the jack. Vargas holding himself, he's not throwing. 25 seconds, he haven't done nothing. Winding down to the final moments of round number three. These fights brought to you in part by Sport of On Go, Hot Sox, Ivan Bistro, and Scores. And it looks like we'll head into the distant fourth round here in the final round of this welterweight fight. I think this is going to be the round to see who's going to be the winner. Five guys got to throw everything in this round and try to do something to show they could take this fight and bring their draw for Morales. He looks tired. I think he gets the second hand in at least by the first minute of the run, and he could maybe get a, a win or a draw in this fight. Morales in a good position here, points wise, getting a knockdown earlier on in round number two. That's it, but in the first round, my guy hasn't thrown too much combination either. We'll see the scorecards. If we have to see the scorecards at the end of this round, it'll be very interesting to see how it goes. A touch of the gloves for a little bit of respect as we head into the final round here in this welterweight fight. Vargas in the red, Morales in the blue. Here's where you want to see uh, where you got to learn how to take a fight and look for that for that win. Vargas got to look for that win or show that he got to take this fight. He just missed the right hand. Morales just keep on coming with his crazy hand, but he keep on throwing it and connecting. Morales got to keep on moving the jab, keep on looking for that fight. He just moving, looking at his, he's just looking at Morales. He hasn't thrown no punches, only one punch by seconds. He gotta look, he, he got look for that win. Oh, good combination by Vargas. Vargas coming back into this fight. May not be too late. Scoring a knockdown will definitely turn things back yeah. into his favor on the scorecards. And make it more easy for the judges to score. He's moving. But he's not throwing too much. He's still keep on trying to get on with the combination by three punches. Morales just looking at him. I think Morales is just waiting for a 10 seconds to try to close the round. See, he's just looking at him, letting, letting the time just finish. Or he could close. One minute left here in the final round. Both men working here to get the nod of the judges or a possible knockdown. Yeah, Murray, you just look at the, the clock just to try to see how much you got. We can get some action on, on this fight. There you see. I told you, he was trying to close the, the round. 
25 seconds left in the final round. This fight seems like it's still up for grabs. It, it seems like we don't have a clear winner yet. I don't got a clear winner. Absolutely not. Morales really shaking things up with that second round knockdown. Second, let's see who closes. Let's see. Let's see who closes out the strongest. Morales with the left hand. Close Vargas with a jab that doesn't go through, but we'll see what happens. It's going to be one of the more interesting scorecards we'll see here tonight. Right now, here's what people should learn. It don't matter if you got zero and one. Look at the kind of fight that he just did right now. Good showing by Morales tonight as the opponent for the undefeated Jeep Guerra Vargas. We await the official scorecards, and as we do that, I'll head into the ring to get a post fight interview if I'm able to do so. Before I read the scorecards, a round of applause for both Warriors, please. After four rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Michelle Walker said I will score the contest 38 to 37 for Morales. Judge Michelle only scored the contest 38-37 for Kenna Vargas. And Judge Michael Ross scored the contest 38-37 for your winner by split decision. Frank Carlos Puerto Rico is still undefeated. 